What's up, guys? This is my TNA review. Now, I'm sorry I wasn't here last week to do a TNA review, and I blame you. No, I'm just playing. I don't blame you. I, personally, it was just time restraints that I couldn't really do it. Not restraints, but time difficulties. I couldn't really get the time to do it. Because I, cause I didn't really get to watch it on Thursday, but on that Friday, I was hoping I could watch it on the internet, but I never got to it. By the time... I thought about getting to it, but it was like Monday. It was a little bit too late. Or by that time, I had like homework. Um, Wednesday, it was a little bit too late because it was like one day before the new show. You know what I'm saying? So I, I just didn't really have any time to do it, and I'm sorry. But I'm back with my TNA review. Um, first off, EV 2.0 strikes back. Well, Fortune was walking up the ramp. Jong, 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 jong. And EV 2.0 attacks and whoops their butts at that point. Um, it wasn't really a really brutal beatdown like you saw, like there was in like the last one where the RVD got hurt. Not last week's, but the one before that one. And it was just basically um, head and tail, I guess. I don't know if that even made sense. It really didn't make sense to me, but. Anyway, uh, AV 2.0 struck back and they whooped some butt, pretty much. Jeff Jarrett versus Kevin Nash. Uh, before you were like, where's well, Samoa Joe and Orlando Jordan match? Um, Samoa Joe won, and that's pretty much. I didn't really want to say anything about that match because it really wasn't a good match. It was like just pure domination from Samoa Joe. Orlando Jordan took the. He took the momentum for about a second, but didn't really help. Samoa Joe whooped butt. And then, it was, and then Jeff Jarrett came out and asked Samoa Joe if he would be in his corner when he had to face Kevin Nash. And Joe was like, uh, uh, no, I won't be in your corner, you know, because I roll by myself, you know. And Taz was like, well, maybe it was just because he didn't want to, he used to be in the, um, Main event mafia with Kevin Nash, and he didn't want to mess that relationship they got up right now. Uh, I don't know, but Jeff Jarrett versus Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash did win. Well, it was kind of it was because it wasn't no kind. It was because of the help of Sting, because Sting came out, hit Jeff Jarrett with the bat, and it was about over with by then. Next, is Jeremy, Jeremy, me. No, Generation Me versus Abyss. Now, not Abyss. Not what kind of match is that anyway? Uh, scratch that. <laughs> anyway, it was Generation Me versus the Motor City Machine Guns. Motor City Machine Guns won this match, but this was a very good match. A very good, very good tag team match. But that's what you can expect from two of the young, two young teams. Um, Generation Me, when they even when they debuted, you were probably like, who the flip are these guys? These guys aren't going to do anything. But they are one of the best tag teams to not have a title in that in TNA. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you, if you like high-flying tag teams, they're probably one of the best high-flying tag teams in the in the business right now. Um, if you don't like high-flying tag teams, um, you pretty much shouldn't watch them wrestle. But, but... Next match was Stevie. Well, this was not really a match. It was just like a brawl backstage. EV 2.0 at the beginning of the show was talking about how they wanted Abyss like that. You know what I'm saying? They wanted Abyss gone. Um, Stevie Richards did, did tries to do the honors, but Stevie Richards is the last one down. Basically, pretty much Abyss was the last one standing. <laughs> Steve Richards was the last one down, you know what I'm saying? Backstage brawl. Um, it was pretty much a back and forth kind of brawl. Abyss would whoop butt for a while. Steve Richards would whoop, would whoop butt for a while. And then it would just basically, it was basically an even type of thing. But Abyss was the last man standing. Abyss attempted to hit Steve Richards with um, Janice, but he didn't do it. So, next match was... Next match was Abyss gets gored, which was not really a match either. But Rhino called Abyss down. They started fighting. Pretty much, um, 
this is kind of back and forth too, kind of really not, but you know. Anyway, if this gets gored, usually it's when some when Rana's gonna gore somebody, it usually leads to him going himself through something. So that really he actually go with Rhino today. I mean he actually go with Abyss today. Sorry for my impairments of speech. She's, you know. But anyway, Fortune, the last match of the night, Fortune versus basically Hudley's crew, which was Mr. Anderson, Jeff Hardy, the Pope, and Kurt Angle. The winners were Hogan's crew. Well, it was Kurt Angle hitting the Angle Slam on one of Fortune, and then the Pope just like did like a triple threat rules screw you, Kurt Angle, and threw him out the ring and then pinned him. But Fortune gets their tail beat at the end again by EV 2.0 and. And Hogan's crew. So that's about all I got for y'all today. I I'm sorry for last week. I really am. NXT season finale review is on Wednesday. Hopefully, maybe Thursday. I'm gonna get it up for y'all though. So I gotta finish the season now. I'll see y'all guys Friday for TNA viewers. Love y'all.